Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to add programs to your startup items that would normally require you to say yes to a UAC prompt in order to run. And this can also be used to make shortcuts to specific programs that bypasses the UAC prompt and that way you could actually run specific programs without having to turn off UAC altogether. All right, so it's a free program called Skip UAC. Uh, once you download the zip file, just extract it and run the executable here. But before we begin here, we're going to do a little test. So for example here, regedit requires administrative access to run like so. And then if we make a shortcut to it, and we put it in our startup items, so it still needs a UAC prompt there. So now we're going to restart the computer and see what happens. All right, so we're logged in, so let's wait a second and see what happens. Okay, so it's not looking like it's going to start up. All right, so let's go ahead back into the startup folder here. Get rid of that shortcut. Now we'll open the program here again. So the program itself has a UAC prompt here. All right, so we're going to add reg edit to here. Just click on the add button, browse to the executable. Like so. And you could change the uh, state, normal, hidden, minimize, maximize, execute on user login. So leave that checked. If you want it to start when you start the computer, then just click on add to list. And now you can see it has a check mark here, meaning it's going to start with the computer. So it also puts a shortcut on your desktop, so if you want to run it from within Windows without the UAC prompt, you could do that, like so. And there are some options here, let's look at it real quick. Uh, add a file, import and export, uh, edit your highlighted selection there. You could turn off the automatically add shortcut to desktop option if you don't need the shortcut. Uh, there's the skip UAC warning, and then you could open some of the system tools from here. So now once it makes the shortcut, you don't need to put this in the startup folder. And you'll see too that once you add something to the program, it puts the program itself in the startup folder. So you have to have this here, otherwise it won't work. All right, so now that we have this in the list here, let's go ahead and restart the computer and see what happens. All right, we're logged in, so let's give it a moment and see what happens here. All right, so it opened up the registry editor without a UAC prompt, and it did it automatically. All right, so you can see it's a pretty effective program. Let's open it up one more time here. So once again, just click on the plus button here to add a file, browse to the executable, and that's pretty much all you need to do. You could tweak some settings if you like, and then next time you start your computer, anything in this list, uh, we'll start up with it and without a UAC prompt. All right, so I will put a link in the description where you could download Skip UAC Prompt and you could check it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.